What's going on guys? Bassin' Up Mafia here coming at you with a new video and in this one we got one that some of you have been waiting for. This is going to be a video on that little finesse rig that so many of you were curious about and how to set up and rig. So we're going to show you that now and let's just get into it. This one's not going to be a really long one. Just going to go over how we rig this and a couple little tips with it and how to throw it and a couple rigging options real quick and then we'll get out of here. But of course, bait of choice for this little finesse rig, uh, finesse spinner rig, I guess you can call it, is uh, the Z-Man TRD, uh, finesse TRD, or we'll even use the big TRD sometimes as well. Big reason why we use the Z-Man plastics for this is because they are so durable and the fish basically don't rip them apart ever. So that's the biggest reason why we use them. And what you do is you take a take a spinner blade, put it onto a barrel swivel, and we also put a little bit of braid with a loop just about maybe two and a half inches long, three inches about, about as long as the, the uh, TRD. And then we will take a bait needle like this one and we will thread that up through the finesse TRD and that will get put on to the hook point right there. And the reason why we do that is we were figuring out there for quite a while that you could go through a lot of blades by them just pulling it out. Even with the Z-Man plastic being tough, they pull it right out of it. So to combat that a little bit, we started doing that braid thing. And it doesn't mess with the hookup ratio at all. Still get great hookups with them. And we use a 2 aught wide gap hook with a Texas rig. Um, my weight of choice most of the time is a little bitty quarter ounce Wu Tungsten tungsten weight. And that'll sit, that would sit right on top of there just like that. And you snake it around through the grass. A lot of times they'll end up biting it on the fall because they'll see it flashing and falling down there. But that's basically all you do. Um, here's the little hitchhikers. We use these little hitchhikers as well to get it into the Ned's rear end there. And that's just, by doing that and then feeding that bait needle up through it, that just helps you save a little bit of money on spinner blades and um, hardware for the rest of this rig. And here's one that we don't have with the hook through it and just with the uh, braid fed up through it. Looks just like that. But you can also use Colorado blades as well. It doesn't really matter. They both work. Uh, I don't really think it makes that big of a difference. Um, sometimes gold blade makes a difference in certain water clarities and another way you could also rig this instead of Texas rigging it you could throw it on one of these Ned heads here. Now this is a wide gap hooked Ned head and that would get fed up onto there just like that across there. And if I'm throwing it that way, if I'm throwing it Texas rigged, a lot of times I'm throwing it on my medium heavy 7.3 uh, bait caster rod, uh, my Enigma Phenom to be exact. And if I'm throwing it on a little Ned head like this, I'm typically throwing it on my Enigma Ipon spinning rod in a seven foot medium action. Depends on the presentation I wanna do. If I want it a little more finesse, I will do it on the Ned head. It gives it a lot slower fall instead of that and it also keeps the bait more upright instead of down flat. So it all depends on the presentation I want and what I'm feeling for that day um, and what the fish are telling me they want. But that pretty much concludes this little finesse spinner rig video and hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys can get out there and start using it to catch some fish, especially when the bite gets tough. That's really when this bait seems to shine and when they get onto small, small bait like the end of fall right now. So get yourself some and get some rigged up and go catch some fish. We will see you next Thursday, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one.